everyone. This is Caitlin with the Corpus Christi Public Libraries. And today we are going to be talking about a very special book that I'm sure none of you have ever heard of before. And that is Dog Man by Dave Pelkley. Okay, yes, you're rolling your eyes at me, I know. Most of you have heard of Dog Man if you haven't already read it. So instead of talking about Dog Man, we are going to be talking about books that you might like if you like Dog Man. So in other words, Dog Man read-alikes. And all of these books are available through the Corpus Christi Public Libraries, and at the end of this video, I will show you how to find them. Cave Boy Dave, More Scrawny Than Brawny by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Phil McAndrews. Travel back to the Stone Age, in a time where bronze was prized above brains. Scrawny Cave Boy Dave would rather be using his brains to admit things, like a less itchy loincloth but his village has other ideas for him, such as killing a prehistoric monster. Will Cave Boy Dave be able to use his brains to complete this task, or is his village right and cave people need to have more bronze than brains? Dragon Breath by Ursula Vernon. He can't breathe fire, but he has no fear. So what if Danny Dragon Breath can't breathe fire? He's got lots of other talents. Mm, well, not really, but he still has no fear, which is useful when you have a knack for getting into trouble. With a unique family, a best friend, and a daredevil attitude, Danny Dragonbreath is up for any adventure, especially if it helps him get out of doing his schoolwork. Claude. Evil Alien Warlord Cat by Johnny Marciano and Emily Chenoweth, and illustrated by Rob Mamahertz. Claude had everything, sharp claws, fine fur, and being the most supreme high commander of the planet Litterbox, and billions of cat warriors at his disposal. That was until he was stripped of his throne and sentenced to exile. He is sent to an insignificant planet, in a barely inhabitable corner of the universe, Earth. Will Claude try to make Earth his new home, or will he try to conquer it? After all, with a title like Evil Alien Warlord Cat, you never know. Unless, of course, you read the book. The Bad Guys by Aaron Blave. They sound like bad guys, they look like bad guys, and they even smell like bad guys. But Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, Mr. Snake, and Mr. Shark want to change that. The Get Bad Guys plan their first good mission, which involves breaking 200 dogs out of the maximum security city dog pound. Will their mission be a success? Or will the bad guys always be the bad guys? And will Mr. Snake ever stop swallowing Mr. Piranha? Thunder Cluck, Chicken of Thor, by Paul Tillery IV and Meg Whitware. Half mortal, half god, all natural chicken. When the evil chef faces off against the god Thor, a chicken egg is caught in the crossfires. It hatches into Thunderclock, a superhero chicken who is ready to ruffle some feathers. And when the evil undercook threatens to turn everyone into rotisserie chicken, there is only one person for the job. Thunderclock! After all, he is half mortal, half god, and all natural chicken. Astronauts by John Siesca and Steven Weinberg. When Earth reaches a crisis point, there is nothing left to do but send an unlikely team of top secret, super powered animals into space in search of a new planet for the human race. After being blasted off into space via Thomas Jefferson's nose cone, don't ask, Alpha Wolf, Laser Shark, Smart Hawk, and Stink Bug, who is an actual stink bug, land on the plant planet, which seems like it would be a good home for humans. After all, there are only pretty plants on this planet, but it doesn't take long for things to go wildly wrong. At the beginning of this video, I said I'd show you an easy way to find the books we talked about today. And so we're gonna be doing that right now. 
We are on the Corpus Christi Public Library's homepage, which is cctexas.com backslash libraries. And we are going to go over to this blue bar that has library catalog on it. I circled it in red for hopefully you can see it better. And we are going to go ahead and click on that. This brings us to the home page of the catalog. This is where you search for items and a lot of other things. But today we are going to be going up to the top at this little symbol, which looks like four dots with four lines after them. And we are going to click on that. This brings us to our series lists. Well, some of them. As you can see up top, it says public list, and we are actually going to go down to the bottom where it says view all. This is our list page. These lists have been put together by the librarians here at the Corpus Christi Public Libraries, and they include all things like series lists, award winners, as well as read-alikes. So feel free to check those out, and the, all the books we talked about today will be on those lists. I hope you've heard of some good books today and are excited to use these lists. So please have fun and please keep putting items on hold. Um, also, make sure to keep checking back for more videos as well as liking us on Facebook at Corpus Christi Public Libraries. And I hope to see you all again very soon.